Welcome into the Tyrac Expert Film Session. You know, Mark D'Antonio has always been known as a defensive coach, but his defensive line this year has really been playing at a high level. I want to show you some clips that really show you that when this team plays at a high level, they can really be dominant as players. Establishing the LOS, the line of scrimmage. Let's start out here with Malik McDowell. You can see exactly where he is. You'll see his quick get off. Does a good job of the little rip technique, but he bends to get right back down the line of scrimmage. Very difficult to block. Again, you're going to see him right here. That guard's going to try to make a block on him, but watch the technique of being able to bend and coming back down the line of scrimmage to be able to make this tackle. Really an outstanding effort and really shows his athleticism and being able to change direction. Damon Knox. You're going to see he takes on the double team. Again, establishing the line of scrimmage, the LOS, as I like to call it. You can't be getting pushed around. You're going to see him here. Once again, you're going to see him take on these two blockers. You're going to try to move him out. Does a good job turning the shoulders. We stop it here. Now you get to see exactly what this running back is looking at. He may think he has a free go, but that gap is now taken up. You're seeing Shalik Calhoun coming off the edge. Now keep in mind, there's a tight end coming across that's trying to kick him out. But again, as we let it play, because of that double team, it allows all of the other defenders to take those gaps up. Does a good job of coming in and making the tackle. How about when it's time to pressure the quarterback? All of them have to be able to do that. Talking about getting off the football. They do a really good job of getting off fast, off the break. When we let it go, you're going to see them do a great job of really containing the quarterback. The quarterback, if we freeze it here, it might look like he has a great pocket to throw it in. But I want you to show, I want to show you something. Look at these edge rushers here. Look at all of these guys are on the edge. No one's taken up. You see the linebackers are in great position. So they now put themselves in a position where they can win that individual one-on-one -on -one battle, and now the pocket collapses because these guys got such great push. So let's talk a little bit about tackles for loss. As you see, here's going to be the line of scrimmage. And when you get this surge, when these guys come off the ball on the snap of the ball, you're going to see just how much penetration they get. If we stop it here, you see the line, original line of scrimmage. It's one, two, three, four defenders in the backfield, really doing a good job. And, and you look at Malik McDowell and the way he was able to dominate his individual effort He's got his guy on skates, driven him four yards off the line of scrimmage, and you see everyone rallying to the ball. When a defensive line can play in the backfield, that really helps out the secondary guys and also the linebackers. Craig Evans, big part of this game. I mean, he had a huge monster game in this one. You're going to see him right here. Watch the power that he comes off when he fires off the football. Does a good job, then he sheds the block. And now the back has really nowhere to go. And it's about being able to play with your hands to be able to use your leverage. Once again, you'll see him right here doing a good job of getting his hands up. And he's just playing the ball. And now he moves him out of the way and is able to just to make the tackle. Does a good job. Another tackle for loss. When you look at this Michigan State defense, everything has really been predicated on what they've been able to do up front. If this defensive line is dominant, the linebackers have success. The secondary has more success. They'll need to play at a very high level, just like they did last week, if they expect to win this game. Back to you, Dave.